Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So the Punisher and Taskmaster Arena is over, round two is done in the books. I did not go for either champion, I already have them, but I did go for those 5,000 five-star shards. Um, I put up, uh, as you will see, uh, about 22 million, and then I stopped. That seems to be a good, sweet spot, safe score uh, to get the 5,000 shards. I have not missed yet going with uh, 22 million. Uh, as you can see here, I'm already at 22 million in the five star featured, but I am going for one of those hulks. And if you know me, you know which hulk I'm going for. I don't know if I'm gonna grind again in round two, but it is a possibility. So I had a little bit of a breather right now. Uh, my four stars are just starting to come off cooldown. So let's wrap this up. All right, so let's go ahead over here. And as you can see, I got the 5,000 five-star shards, like I said, have not missed yet. All right, we're going to skip the uh, three-star. Uh, that arena is not really all that exciting. Uh, the four-star, Punisher 2099, I put up four million. Uh, the top 800 get this champion. So we will take a look here and see who went for the four-star and see everyone that got the four-star um, that you see here on this leaderboard got the four star, uh, but we only get to see the top 200. So another 600 get this champion that we don't get to see. And if you're one of those, feel free to leave a, uh, comment. Let me know what score you put up. And, uh, that actually does help, uh, gives me an idea of what these champions are going for. I always guess high. Um, if I were going for this champion, I'd put up like 15, 16 million, knowing that he most likely went under 10, possibly under nine. All right. Um, but the integral, congratulations. Um, guess you didn't have him or perhaps uh, just trying to awaken him. Uh, and for you guys that don't know, he did get a buff recently. Uh, Big Blue, also, congratulations. Um, he did get a buff. He is much, much better than he was before. Uh, I would say he's rank four worthy as a five star. Um, don't know so much about rank five. Um, I'd have to play with him a little bit more. But uh, definitely rank four. Uh, when Kabam usually tweaks or reworks a champion... They're worthy of a rank four at the very least. Some reworks, if there's a complete rework, um, and I don't believe his was a complete rework. He just got numbers tweaked. Uh, but complete reworks um, historically um, have made them rank five worthy. Um, at least rank four, but rank five worthy, a lot of them. Uh, Coat Hanger, congratulations. All right, so um, definitely not a bad champ to pick up if you hadn't gotten him already uh and if you are just a collector like i am uh you want to get him regardless if you don't have him and that's pretty much how i grew my roster if there was a champion that i didn't have and they came to the arena i went for him every single time didn't matter how good they were and the result after years is that i have a roster that can now grab some of these newer champions, um, I still have to grind, you know, pretty, pretty hard. But as my roster grows, the grind will become less for me. Uh, and I cannot wait. Uh, right now, really more six stars is what I need. Uh, and the more six stars I have, the easier the grind is. All right, let's take a look at this four star basic here. As you see, I just put up enough for the uh, milestones black gamer congratulations uh and really my gold in this arena or goal in this arena uh was units that's all i wanted get all those units uh we've got cyber uh weekend coming we're hoping it's cyber weekend um and i want to have enough of the uh units and i do uh, but I want to have enough units even without opening any of my battle chips. That's what I want. Now, um, that's going to be about 21,000 units. 
because uh, I believe last year, what they did was, first of all, instead of it being uh, Cyber Monday, um, the reason we say Cyber Weekend is because they did something a little different. What? Do you guys see uh, number 85, rank number 85? What's that? Okay. Anyway, let me blink a little bit. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Uh, but anyway, what they did um, was they changed it. They would often have like a an offer for that Friday, like Black Friday, I believe. And you didn't know what the Monday offer was going to be for Cyber Monday. So you had to make a choice. You know, do you get the offers that they offered on Friday, which might mean you didn't have enough to get the offers on Monday? They changed it. And so on Friday, they just put out all the offers that were going to be. That way, you had the whole weekend to decide um, what you wanted to do uh, if you were close to getting some more units and you just needed a day or two. You could do that. All right. So that's why we say Cyber Weekend now, because they rolled everything into just one big weekend, just offers on Friday that lasted the entire weekend. So what they did, um, I believe, last year, they had an offer uh, and they usually do it tiered. You know, so you get one offer for like a thousand units, another one for maybe four thousand, you know, and you have to have gotten the previous one. And when all was said and done, the final offer, you would had to have spent either 18,000 units or 21 because the final offer, they had like a bonus one and the final offer was not for the same amount of units. OK, um, so the bonus offer, depending on which one you went for, you could either have spent 18,000 or 21,000. So. If I have 21,000 without having to open up my um, battle chips, then I'm in a good shape, uh, depending on what it is. Uh, but I do plan on trying to grab them. All right, so here we got the five star featured. And we're going to take a look here. And there's the integral again. Congratulations, rank seven. Impressive, top 10. All right. Now, this arena has changed. It's the top 300 now. Um, in the past, it was only 150. In fact, even before then, it was even less than that. Ace Noop. Name sounds familiar. Uh, congratulations, man. Um, but the cutoffs have been much, much lower these days. Ben Riley, congratulations, man. Uh, Coat Hanger, congratulations again. So a lot of people, I guess, did not have him, and now they want him with the uh, updates. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to see the top 200. And 100 will get this champion that we don't see. So if you're among those, just like I said earlier uh, in the other arena, please leave a comment. Let me know what score you put up, because it does help us get an idea of what the cutoffs are looking like with this new top 300 arena. Uh, because it did change. Uh, and this would be a, a reworked champion, but he is an older champion. So we'll get an idea of what the older champions are going for in the uh, arenas now. And then when we have, you know, the new champions, we'll get an idea of what they're going for as well. All right. Now, uh, just a, an aside for you guys uh, who are veterans to these videos. You remember the moment of silence. Uh, right here, we would stop, and then I would have a moment of silence, and I played this song. Uh, the song was called Forever, and it just seemed perfect for this. Um, now, the copyright holder has decided, and this is years now, I've been using it. Um, I put the uh, little blurb uh, to, to give them credit, uh, but I believe... It wasn't the copyright holders that did that. That's something that happens a lot. So if you're using someone else's music, um, be sure that they are the copyright holders. All right. Because 
uh, who I got it from, they did some uh, reworking or whatever. Uh, and I don't think it was the actual copyright holder. So I was given permission. I did everything I was supposed to do. But then the original copyright holder most likely looked and said, oh, this is being used all over the place. We can make some money. So they did a copyright claim, not a copyright strike. The difference is that they're not asking for your video to be taken down. They're just saying all the revenue that that video would earn, ad revenue and everything comes to us now. So I would no longer be earning any ad revenue and I'd be earning it for them now. Uh, but YouTube has special tools that allows you to mute or replace the song. And I've been using that. Anytime I see a copyright claim from them, I go to the song and I replace the song with one of the songs that YouTube has. Uh, most of these videos are older because now that it's top 300, we no longer have a moment of silence because we don't know who came close. For us to have another moment of silence, they would have to extend the leaderboard to say the top 400 or even the top 350. Then we could have that again, all right? But that's gonna do it, guys. I need to get back to that arena. Uh, thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.